Hi, there it's WB and welcome to World Broadcast YouTube channel. Before we get started make sure you hit the subscribe button and press bell icon to never miss any latest news. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi just did the last thing anyone ever expected. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi's strategy to win back Congress is twofold. Democrats are obstructing Donald Trump's every move, and the party is wrapping their arms around the unhinged and increasingly dangerous protests liberals are staging against Trump. But Schumer and Pelosi were just forced to do the last thing anyone ever expected. After White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders and her family were denied service at a restaurant last Friday, far-left Congresswoman Maxine Waters ranted, If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. President Trump fired back at Waters for inciting liberal thugs to carry out acts of domestic terrorism as only he does best. Trump tweeted, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, an extraordinarily low IQ person, has become, together with Nancy Pelosi, the face of the Democrat Party. She has just called for harm to supporters, of which there are many, of the Make America Great Again movement. Be careful what you wish for Max. For nearly 24 hours, Democrat leaders retreated into silence as they feared angering their unhinged liberal base. Eventually the pressure reached untenable levels and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi had to throw waters under the bus. Pelosi tweeted, In the crucial months ahead, we must strive to make America beautiful again. Trump's daily lack of civility has provoked responses that are predictable but unacceptable. As we go forward, we must conduct elections in a way that achieves unity from sea to shining sea. Speaking on the Senate floor, Schumer stated, We all have to remember to treat our fellow Americans, all of our fellow Americans, with the kind of civility and respect we expect will be afforded to U.S. No one should call for the harassment of political opponents. That's not right. That's not American. The president's tactics and behavior should never be emulated. IT should be repudiated. Of course, Schumer and Pelosi had to cut their criticism of Waters with a rebuke of Trump. Even though the president had no role in this sorry affair, Pelosi and Schumer ripped Trump in their comments condemning Waters in order to soften the blow to their base. But Pelosi and Schumer choosing to rebuke Waters, no matter how lax, comes with political risk. Axios, the anti-Trump political news site, wrote that younger voters, who embrace the violent resistance, agree with Waters' sentiment that liberal activists should terrorize Trump officials in public. The heart of the Democrat Party is with Waters. Schumer and Pelosi are trying to slam the brakes on a runway train. It was around a year ago that a Bernie Sanders supporter attempted to assassinate Republican members of Congress practicing for a baseball game. Democrats and the media swept the shooter's ideological beliefs and political motivations to massacre Republicans under the table. That is how the left behaves today. They are a violent mob that believes no act of resistance is off the table. We will keep you up to date on any new developments in the 2018 midterm elections. Please don't forget to like and support our channel by press subscribe button. Thank you for watching.